point, I now recognize myself for an opening statement. <clears throat> one year, one month ago today, Putin launched his full-scale, unprovoked war of aggression in Ukraine. To date, at least 8,000 civilians have been killed. 65,000 war crimes have been reported, including the abduction of 14,000 Ukrainian children. These numbers do not include the staggering loss of life on the battlefield. In response, Congress has provided a significant amount of assistance to Ukraine to ensure Putin's aggression is stopped at Ukraine's border and to ensure NATO countries are not next. I have supported this assistance because a victory by Putin in Ukraine would further embolden America's adversaries from Chairman Xi in Beijing to the Ayatollah <clears throat> in Tehran to Kim Jong-un in, in uh, North Korea. As the chairman of this committee, it's also my constitutionally guaranteed responsibility to pursue stringent oversight of the Department of State and U.S. aid. Every dollar counts, and the Biden administration should expect this committee to be vigilant in demanding transparency and accountability for U.S. assistance to Ukraine. In fact, this committee is already in the process of conducting vigorous oversight of the assistance, by provi uh, assistance provided to Ukraine by the Department of State. Our first committee event of this Congress was a classified briefing on oversight of assistance to Ukraine. Also, I led a congressional uh, delegation to Kyiv last month to get a firsthand perspective of the safeguards and monitoring mechanisms in place for U.S. support. <coughs> Next week, I'm holding a public hearing with the inspectors general from DOD, state, and USAID to assess the administration's oversight efforts to date. This will be the first time any of them have appeared before this committee since the full-scale invasion. But I can assure you, it will not be our last engagement with them on this issue. It is unfortunate that some misunderstand strong oversight as somehow at odds with strong U.S. support for Ukraine's self-defense against Putin's brutal illegal invasion. This oversight is vital for continued U.S. support and for ensuring such support is effective in protecting American security interests abroad. This resolution of inquiry requests the administration to transmit relevant documents related to congressionally appropriated funds for Ukraine. It is important Congress continues to closely examine <clears throat> the Biden administration's failure of deterrence leading up to Russia's February 24th, 2022 invasion. This will ensure that in the future, such brutal wars of aggression can be deterred by American strength and not <clears throat> encouraged by American weakness. The American taxpayer deserves to know how this money is being spent, and I'm committed to exercising intense congressional oversight on all of our assistance to Ukraine. So I support this resolution as it is consistent with my oversight agenda of U.S. assistance to Ukraine. Is there any discussion on the resolution? The ranking member, Mr. Meeks, is recognized.